Okay, I'd like to, what's his name? This is a very interesting bear, Allah here. Become a little bit of a lamb over here. The Mahabra says in, t- in terms of, I think we finished. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 we were yeah, over here. Hold the Mishnah Bura. Mishnah page 117. Yud. The Mechaber says, "Yoniach dibri echod shall yad b'shal rosh." You should put on one of them. The shall yad b'shal rosh. Yoniach acherim al smat brachu shol. You put on the other, and the bracha will be the bracha you said on one of them. Vim lo yuchal. Kach lomar v'lo garsin v'salk miyad. Kedibre ho echod hamechaber sos nvorul fi achros achronim. Tov yose sheisvo chabracha latfilim dibrashi. That if you put on the bracha, first you put on Rashi Tfilin. And you say the bracha, and when you put on Rabbi Tam, this is when you're putting them on one after another or simultaneously. You have in mind, this is where it's consecutively, that the bracha that you said according to Rashi covers the Rabbi Tam Tfilin. Bracha, according to Muhammad, it's only one bracha. The Shaliyah, Laniyah covers the Shaliyah and Sharosh. So the shel, when you say Laniyah, it covers the Shaliyah and Sharosh of Rabbi Tam. That's fair, yeah. Okay, shall yad b'shel rosh the mechab bracha achas. That's what he says. Go to mechab. You say one bracha. Ulfim and ogenim b'shtei bracha. Now b'sim b'chafei v'akach yoniach eslam zuk sheniyo. Then you put on the second pair. V'aval pi shemavsk b'neim banoch shel rosh shel zuk b'shel. That's it. A little difficult, you, right? Because he said he said al mitzvahs on the shel rosh. V'aval pi shemavsk b'neim banoch shel rosh shel zuk b'shel. Gam a bracha shemor cholel ulfim and ogenu. And also the bracha, there's a hepsik between lo niach, lo niach of the shaliyah, the brashi, you're supposed to cover lo niach of the rabbinu tam. But you, 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 because, but you interrupted it with saying al mitzvahs on the rosh of shal rashi, of rashi, before the shaliyah of rabbinu tam, mm-hmm. right? Tashne brachas al tarvayu koi. He say it. When we say lo niach, right? It's immediately. The Oniach is immediately after the Shalyad. Right. So it's not only not immediate, the, you said it's not another bracha before you put on the Shalyad of Rabbi Tam. No, we're talking about if a person can't, whatever it is. He says you should do with that, but if you can't, just put them on consecutively, and the bracha of, the, of, of Rashi will cover Rabbi Tam. Mm. Yep, run after Rabbi Consecutively. Right, right. He says, wonderful book, the Shel Yad's on consecutive. He said, he says, you put a Shel Yad Sharosh of Rashi, and then immediately Shel Yad Sharosh of Rabbi Tam. Therefore, he has this issue. He says, you put a Shel Yad of Rashi, and Shel Yad of Rabbi Tam. And no, wait, the, the, the Lohaniyah will cover both of them. You're not saying Al Mitzvahs. Because if the primary one is Rashi, so you, the Shel Yad of the Rabbeinu Tam is a hepsik between the Shel Yad and the Shorosh of Rashi. They said they, that has to be consecutive. It can't be any, anything else happening between the two of them. Lo Yuchal. What about, he, he's not, Mechav says, even he can't put them off consecutively. He, he does not have, wear two, sim, two on, his, on his hand and his head simultaneously. I mean, wear them simultaneously. We'll put them off consecutively. I feel b'zachazel lo Yuchal lo Niach v'asar kon she'esh lo mako. Let's say, he, let's say he has a wound and he can't put the thrill in one location. Oh, is bayish. Nobody else wears two pairs of thrill. He's going to start wearing two pairs. He's embarrassed because people are going to mock him. The primary position is Rashi. Put on Rabbeinu Tam after Shimon Esrei. So, no, so he, Sharzin says, why is he equal to Dino? He says, that's the primary position. Beis Yosef grew up prima Godet. Besides the, Beis, the, that's the Beis Yosef, his commentary on tour. The Vilna Gon and prima Godet say Rashi is the primary position. Right? Every, everybody puts on to Rashi. Not every, most people don't put on Rabbi Natam too. Because he, they, that's the primary one. One would say. Weimber aloch shochachnu de ba'ut zorch li zorch lechavim and nochosam rak mishum sveko. Mm-hmm. He says, when you put on Rabbi Tams, you should put it on only as a sofik, but not that you do it in the Shem Mitzvah. 
because we'll see, because it's a whole issue with, with Baltosif. It's not simple. Right? You do it, there's a chance it may be have validity. You have it in mind. Rashi, we assume is. But in case the Rabbi Tam has, has validity, I'm putting them on to be able to say that by obligation of Rabbi Tam. Mm-hmm. Nope. No, no. There's no bracha whatsoever. I mean, not even it would be bracha lavatola. We're saying it's not the primary opinion. He says, that you, even mind, he says, you put them on, you're supposed to have it. It's a suffix. privately later. We'll put them on privately. Okay? You won't have the bracha. Well, you won't have the bracha. It's not the end of the world. That what? No. See, that's the, that's the, that what we had it earlier. The Ramos says, the Ramos says, the Ramos says, says, you know, what if we say al mitzvahs? Then we say Baruch Shem Kodem Avsum Bet. So the question is, I mean, we say, if it's a, if it's a, re, it's a bona fide subject, don't say the brocha. Subject brocha is located. We say the brocha. If a person mistakenly says the brocha, we say baruch shem kol You ate a fruit, say baruch shem then you eat another fruit, and you forgot. And say, so after you say the brocha, say baruch shem kol Right? Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't mix up. You're mixing up the. I'm talking about bread creates. Told me eating uh, whatever is a pomegranate. No, the Ramah doesn't say that. That's not. That's not where it's brought. That since it's a sophie, whether you have to say the brach on the shel rosh, you say baruch shem kol So the question is, don't say it. So don't say the brach. So brach slokim. False testimony is if, if you say Kriyashma without filling. See, you're wearing the Shalyad Shalosh. It's not false testimony, right? It says whoever says Kriyashma without filling, whoever says Kriyashma without filling is, is actually uh, offering false testimony. You say Kshartam, you're not wearing filling. It's the person who could wear filling, right? Kshartam will say, Yadak Totop has been there, so where's the filling? So that's why you're supposed to say. So that's why we had earlier. So Rabbi Nathan filling also. You, you're supposed to say Kriyashma when you put them on. For the same reason, that's but you, that's what he said. You only have to say the first two paragraphs. You don't have to say you know, it's it's what? No, I'm asking a very simple question. If it's a suffix, don't say a bracha. Period. But we say the bracha. We say bracha shem kvod. So why say bracha shem kvod? If it's it's not a suffix, so say the bracha. Don't say bracha shem kvod most of it. And if it is a suffix, don't say the bracha. Right? I have a simple question. Right? You don't hear the question either. Okay. <coughs> if a person says a brocha, it's called brocha in a An unnecessary brocha. Mistakenly. So when you say it, you have to say brocha shem kol mausum afterwards. After say, because it was unnecessary. That's to, like, to rectify the wrong that you have done. No, you actually did say a brocha. He said a brocha. No, that's not a bracha, but that, that's to, like, to rectify the wrong that you have done, inadvertently. Your question is that. So, and that's why we say, Baruch for most of the, after we say, Amit says, fill in. Because there's a, ch- a question, you may have not said it, but you shouldn't have said the bracha. So, the Chazon Nisha answers this question. So, if you weren't supposed to say the bracha, don't say the bracha. Like, and if you were supposed to, don't say Baruch Shem, quote. No, it's not, it's not simple. The answer is, as we're saying, we're giving, it's not... It's not a suffix at that level, so we give it, but just in case it is, we say Baruch Shem. There's no other answer according to Ramah, right? Because he says you should say Baruch Shem after you say the Baruch I'll give you an example. Tosa says in Nozir that the Torah says that a Nozir is called a Kodosh, right? And a Nozir is called a Kodosh. So it says, Mono, if, if you're a Kodosh, you're not a Kote. So he says, even though it, you're a Kodosh, but there's a certain aspect of, of Abeira because you're denying yourself wine. 
And he says, where do you find such a thing? Where do you find such a thing? That a person has a, a dream that he's concerned about. On Shabbos, you fast. You're supposed to fast even on Shabbos, although you're not permitted to fast on Shabbos. But then you have to make some time with them. Based on Thomas' thing, so you have to make it up because you shouldn't have fasted on Shabbos. So you see, there's a mitzvah to fast, but yet you have to atone for fasting on Shabbos because you're supposed to enjoy Shabbos, eating wise. So you find this uh, this, this this dual uh, this dichotomy on Shabbos. Okay. No, no, Kodesh, Kodesh, it's Kodesh. It's Kodesh here, Gadol Pera. Right, Kodesh, he's holy, therefore he has to let his hair grow long. To cut off the, the, the growth. Let's see the... Uh, I'm so sure. Abe's not here today. Okay. Either the by that why can't they, like any other that hold in certain ways, of course, nobody, because nobody holds that way. The primary opinion is Rashi and Rambam. So nobody, nobody holds that way. That as a primary opinion, but evidently it has enough uh, value that it's something should be what taken. Does that mean if it has no no valid validity as as the primary villain, uh, but yet it has value. I'll give you I'll give you an example. Yeah. There's a famous story with. Uh, Shmuel Salant, that this woman, son, she had a shadow with her child. Some a p- chicken wing was in there. The question: the kasha chicken. Rabbi Shmuel Salant says he can't. He's a Rabbi Shalayim. He says he can't eat the child. Another woman had the exact same shayla, and he said she could eat the child. These two women meet, and they, you know, they share their their yeah. experience. And she says, he said, he ruled for me, it was kosher. He said, what, what was he, have a, a two-track system over here? So she was upset. She had to throw out the chalent. See, she went, he said, you don't understand, this woman has nothing to eat. And there, uh, there are opinions, lenient, which we normally don't rely on. But because it's called a hefzid maruba, for her it's a hefzid maruba. It's a tremendous financial loss. For you, it's not a hefzid maruba. So if it's not a financial, a, a tremendous financial loss, because financially you're in better, situ- you're better, in better shape than she is, if I ruled the uh, Khumra. For her, that for her, it's a serious financial hardship. I rule. I rule light on the other. Same. Th- it's the same thing. Rabino Tam is not to be dismissed, but he's not a primary opinion. Okay. Let's see. Mr. Sushara.